get some of those cups there. High fidelity, my favourite, the holiday, which you wouldn't expect, but you, you were brilliant. And, you. and Tenacious D, of course. And Tenacious D is, is in some people's view, I mean, it's hugely popular, but in some people's view, kind of a take on rock songs, like a comedy take. But you take it incredibly seriously, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a combo. We're making fun of it and loving it at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's kind of confusing, really, when you think about it. What the <laughs> hell are we doing? But yeah, uh, Tenacious D is still a big part of my life. We're working on a new album. And uh, we have a little uh, animated series we're developing. And we do a, a comedy music festival every year in Los Angeles called Festival Supreme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? That's lovely. Off. Yeah. What else you know, should I say? No. More things? That was Do you know what? What's, what's wonderful, though, Jack, is ever since you've come in here and yeah. every opportunity, you sing. You just, you just, yeah. music is just so ingrained in it's you, isn't true. it? Do you, do you see yourself more as a, as a kind of a musician or do you see yourself as an all round performer? Obviously, as we saw there, combining the two. I just, seems to you be know, that I don't really uh, differentiate. It's like, I'm an entertainer. I'm, mm. I'll sing for you, I'll act for you, I'll put on a show. I like putting on a show. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And if it wasn't for music, I don't think I'd have a, a film career, because if you look at, like, High Fidelity was my first really good role, and I had a big musical number at the end, and mm -hmm. School of Rock, obviously, the combo is there. And, uh, yeah, I'm just obsessed with, with uh, a comedy and music combination. Mm -hmm. It's sort of my calling. But when, when the cameras are away and you just kind of want to relax, do, do, you, do, do you play music just to chill yeah, out? Yeah, the music never stops. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, at home... Uh, and my wife is very musical too, Tanya Hayden. She she's a triplet, and the Hayden triplets uh, they just put on an album and they they sing beautifully, old country songs. Oh. So it's a musical household. Yeah. And speaking of family, it was your late brother, wasn't it, who got you into music and yeah. and, and shaped your taste yeah. in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Howard. He uh, took me to my first concert. It was a uh, Devo, and uh, on the Freedom of Choice tour for you uh, people who remember, they did that song, Whip It into shape and uh that was an incredible show because it was very theatrical mm. it started off with this uh, very strange movie with these characters that they created and they had the whole concept with the costumes the red weird pyramid hats and uh that was very inspiring to me uh they, they were uh, real trailblazers mm -hmm. in the combination of music and theatrics mm -hmm. And, I mean, you've talked a lot about your family tonight, actually. Is, is this a passion that you're passing on to them as well, you and your wife? Do you, is it quite a musical household? Yeah. Uh, our kids love music. They love to, to listen to different songs. I, I play them different things, and then I get in trouble because my wife says, why are you playing them that? You can't play them, <laughs> Kanye. They're not ready for that. Oh, of course. I run. But I, I uh, yeah, yeah, I make some faux pas. But... Uh, we haven't really gotten them into the lessons yet. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I, I want them to want it. I don't want to feel force it them into yeah. that. They'll ask when they're yeah. ready, won't they? Exactly. Yeah. What about Shawn Mendes, then? Are you a fan? Oh, hang on. You, you just there have to go. say the name. That's they... why they're screaming. It's London Rocks. I thought it was for me. Well, well, like, oh, he's, he's my arch rival, it's apparently. It's both, it's both. Yeah, yeah. he'll be performing. <laughs> well, don't soon. worry, he'll be, he'll be along he's shortly. He's coming out soon. I it's sing too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Jack, as a songwriter and a fan of music, you'll of course know the importance of ending a song properly. Oh, yeah. Um, but apparently, it's not always as easy as it sounds. Some hits just, well, fade away.